Today is November the 13th, 2024. This is Carmen bringing you your daily Bloodborne Remaster update. No news on a Bloodborne Remaster today. Uh, no news on the emulator either. We've covered the visual effects update. I'm going to be trying that sometime in like the next maybe couple weeks. We'll see. It's very tough for me to find time these days. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, let's see here. From... I guess from Katakawa, I think is the name of the company. Uh, they are the parent company of From Software. They own, you know, From Soft and everything they do. Sadly, not the Bloodborne IP that belongs to Sony, uh, but they own, you know, like Dark Souls and uh, Sekiro and Elden Ring, you know, those IPs. Um, so. Apparently, they have uh, over 20 projects in development. Now, that is Katakawa, not From Software. I saw some people say, like, oh, my God, From Software has 20 games in development. We're going to be eating so good. The heater came on. We're going to ignore that. No, From Soft has, I think, like, like, it was like two games in development right now. Uh, one of them was decently far along back before Shadow of the Earth Tree got its, like, real gameplay trailer, I think is what, uh, you know, Michael Zaki said. And I'm assuming there's another one probably because these studios always have several games in development. Um, but I'm going to assume that FromSoft themselves probably has maybe like maybe like two games in development. But Katakawa as a whole has over 20. Sure, I don't care about anything any of their studios are doing besides From Software, so whatever. Um, so yeah, neat stuff. Hopefully we'll see something on the next Souls game. Maybe at this Game Awards, I would say if we don't see it at the Game Awards, we will probably see it at... Um, the Summer Jeff Fest. I think either this year or next year we are seeing what From Software is doing next. So yeah, I know that's kind of a broad net to throw down for the next game, but walk with me here. Walk with me. Okay, I think that's probably the most likely thing. So, uh, we will not be live with Liza P tomorrow. I'm just going to take the day to rest. I, I'm just going to, you know, I don't get many days off to just rest, and I'm going to do that tomorrow. So yeah, um, we'll be back with Liza P maybe on Saturday. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. Um, I put something up on the community tab today. I just ran, I just got into the mood like rank all the Souls DLCs. Um, so like, there's a question about Shadow of the Earth Tree someone had, or rather like why it was so low, which was it was at four, which I said I could put it lower. I think I could put Crown of the Ivory King above it, and it really just depends on the day you ask me. Uh, it's just like you know. Like, Shadow of the Earth Tree, as much as I want to hate on it, it does have things that I did enjoy. You know, the Shadow Keep is one of the best areas from software's ever made. Uh, a lot of the new weapons were very, very fun. Um, some of the new bosses were good. You know, Mesmer and Midra were good. And I, I have a feeling that post nerf for Dawn is probably pretty good. Um, Gaius wasn't too terrible. Um, you know, the Death Knights were fun. And the overall design of the world itself was good. Now, the content itself was, you know, lackluster just like the main game, but. The design of the world was good. So while I do have a hard time saying I really like the DLC, there are days when I don't hate it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's just you know why I put it where I did. Depending on the day you ask me, I could probably alternate where I place Shadow of the Earth Tree, Crown of the Ivory King, and Artorias of the Abyss. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because I'm not yapping anymore. Uh, no news on a Bloodborne Remaster today. That's been your daily Bloodborne Remaster update for November the was it the 13th? We'll say it's the 13th, 2024.